I'm Sierra Liggett, a wife and a mother sharing our story and journey. We love all things adventure, sustainability, and gentle parenting. We have a passion of gardening and growing our own food in the hopes of a more eco-friendly lifestyle. I share our story, vibrant photography, and tips all on my website at sierraliggett.com. You find the circle? Uh, <laughs> good job. Uh, Where's the square? Oh, good job. Where's the triangle? Uh, Where's the uh, triangle? It has three sides. There it is. Good job. Mm hmm. Because he's touching your stuff. Oh, for sure, yes. You like your new chair? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. So today, my beautiful grandmother made me a red velvet cake. And as my uncle would always say, Daddy. eat dessert first. Daddy. You want some cake for breakfast too? Mm. Is that good cake? Can we tell Grandma to get thank you for the cake? Oh, thank you so much. Huh? Me? Thank you, Grandma Liggett. Now my tea's ready. Ooh, it's hot. Hot, that's right, hot. We're gonna go to Papa's today. Papa? You wanna go to Papa's? More cake? Mm. Let's go eat this cake. Oh, should we tell everybody why we're eating cake for breakfast? Because it's mommy's birthday tomorrow. Yeah. What? It is. It's my birthday tomorrow. Yeah. Can we sing happy birthday? Happy birthday to mommy. Happy birthday to mommy. Happy birthday to mommy. Happy birthday to mommy. <laughs> Yay! Charlie and Evelyn just ran to the grocery store and I'm about to get ready, but I wanted to show you what I'm getting ready in front of. This is our pretty original 50s bathroom. Our dog Hachi has eaten off wood paneling, so that door has to go. But look at this! We've been here for three years. And uh, so all the decorations in here were pretty like original 70s. There was this gaudy wooden um, ha hanging mirror here. And then like those bulbous, we called them boob lights, if you know what I'm talking about. And like awful wooden shelves. And uh, so we sold those at a yard sale. And I took him two years to talk him into getting this a mirror. Sorry, Anakin. Sorry, buddy. 
I mean, it's just made a world of difference. If you guys are waiting for the leap, home renovation, remodeling, whatever you're doing, here's your motivation to go get a mirror. Use my birthday coupon. Dancing with you under really dark in here because Charlie hasn't fixed the lights yet. But I kind of wanted to show off his skills for a second. So right now I'm in our furnace room. And later on, after we finish it, I've been working on a um, home renovation project video to share everybody. We've been working on our back what used to be our office and then we moved our office down here into the basement and I painted it um, pulled out the Charlie pulled out the carpet and then I was going to start sanding the floors and we're going to restain all the floors in the house and we were gonna work room by room with a little hand sander I worked for that for three hours barely got anywhere and I couldn't feel my hands Charlie was like we'll just keep doing it uh, it'll save us money. I don't want to rent anything right now. So I was like, okay, but I, I need a break first. And then, so he kept doing it for another hour. And he decided that it was too much work. But it wasn't too much work when I was working for three hours. I don't know. But, okay. So anyways, back here in the furnace room. And Charlie has been building shelves and we have been saying that we wanted shelves back here for a very long time. And I'm super excited and I wanted to show you. Look at that. These are going to fit our tubs. And he left a little spot for the stroller over there. I actually originally wanted the strollers hanging up, but this is kind of nice. I didn't even know he did that. But yeah, all of our decoration tubs are going to go in here. And we being minimalists don't really have a whole lot so this should be perfect but he's also going to take out these old flimsy shelves and put up the same exact shelving unit over here he was going to go all the way around but as you can see like we didn't think about the uh the piping that's over here yeah a little random house update Got me feeling like I'm on a sugar hut I could spend forever in your paradise It's just us tonight On a sugar high Never really was a sweet tooth And then suddenly I met you Now I'm mesmerized By your chocolate eyes Always knew you were different Never knew what I was missing. How did I survive? Not gonna be right in front of her. Now it's a party. Happy birthday to you. We're home from my parents, and I wanted to show you what I got for my birthday. So, remember how I said, like, our home was built in the 50s, and it has most of the stuff is from the 50s and or 70s? Well, insulation is crap, and our house is absolutely freezing in the winter, especially the bedroom. So, like, we have a heated blanket. My mom just gave us this big, thick comforter that was one of her old ones, and we usually layer the bed with, like, 10 blankets at least. Well, for my birthday, my mom made a beautiful wool blanket. And then last year for Christmas, literally everybody got matching um, snuggy things. It's called the Comfy. I'll see if I can find one and link it. Literally everybody got matching ones, except for me. I was left out. So, guess what I got for my birthday?
Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> nice blanket. I don't remember if I said that that blanket was made out of wool or not. You? But so that's the important. Things. No, I was talking about to the camera. To my friends. Oh, it's so comfy. <laughs> not a little unwieldy. Okay. Using our new wool blanket, my new hoodie. We're going to play some Divinity. I got my wine. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello. Good morning. Today's the day. I have some fun projects. Weird. I have some fun projects planned for today. <clears throat> I'm going to make galaxy donuts, galaxy chocolate bark, and a cute mini cake. Mini cake? Not because I'm health conscious. So I am. But because, like I mentioned yesterday, um, my beautiful grandma made me a cake. The most delicious red velvet cake I've ever had. Grandma, if you watch this video, I would really like that recipe. And then my mom sent home a Tony Cannoli's cake yesterday. So now we have two halves of a giant cake. So I'm just going to make a little mini one for me today and it's mostly for the gram. Not gonna lie, gonna keep that real. So let's get baking. Without dancing with you under cotton candy skies, you got me feeling like I'm on a sugar high. I could spend forever in your paradise on a sugar high, just you and I. Sweeter sense the day you put your lips on mine for the first time. For the first time, you're replacing all my bitter days with peppermint and candy canes, and I can't get enough of you. When we're dancing underneath the cotton candy skies, you got me feeling like I'm on a sugar high. I could spend forever in your paradise On a sugar high On a sugar high sugar. The story just fell off. <laughs> mm. Baking one, done. Finally got our Christmas tree down. And somebody came home a little earlier than I expected. <laughs> Having a snack. Okay, so we're getting ready to make the chocolate bark and my birthday cake, but did you go on the potty? Yeah, you did! High five! <laughs> <laughs> yes, and mommy dyed her hand blue. This is such a big girl, huh? We can go on the potty now. So proud of you. All of my stars have fallen off my face now. <laughs> I asked Charlie if I should wash it off or just keep it on for like the next couple of projects I had and he said just to keep it on. But I mean, I've wiped my arm and everything. Okay, but anyway. Starting project number two. Going to make some unicorn chocolate bark. No. 
Now I really got a sweet tooth. Should've known what I got into. Should've known what I got into. And I'm on top of the world now. And I don't ever want to come down. And I don't ever want to come down. Cause I'm dancing with you. No! <laughs> <laughs> you too, Will. She's also a galaxy ring. <laughs> what are the odds about that? What? See you guys next week.